This chapter is about different types of statistical measurements and statistical graphs. And we've got this fancy name for what we're going to talk about today, which is central tendency. Um, and a measure of central tendency is a measure that represents the center of a data set. So, for example, the mean, the median, and the mode are measures of central tendency. So, really, this lesson is about the mean, the median, and the mode, only now we're talking about central tendency. And you should have done mean, median, and mode back in, I don't know, sixth grade or seventh grade, um, or maybe even fifth grade, I don't know. But you should have already done this, so it shouldn't be um, unfamiliar to you. How do you find the mean? Excellent. You add up all the points and then divide by the quantity. The median is the number in the middle. When they're in order, if there are two values in the middle, then you'd find the average of those two values. And the mode is the most common value. There could be more than one mode. There could be uh, two modes, three modes, four modes. There could be no mode. If every number shows up the same amount of times, then there's no mode. So. I like you right now. Pause the video and example one, find me the mean, median, and mode of the hourly wages. The median is 7.62. That's not on the list, but because I had two values in the middle, I added them up and divided by two, and so the median was $7.62. There's this thing called an outlier, which you might not have talked about when you did these things years ago. And an outlier is a data value that is much greater or much smaller than the other values. And there is a formula to calculate whether something's numerically an outlier, but typically you can look at the list and say that number is much higher than the others or that number is much lower. So let's identify the outlier in this chart and figure out how it changes the mean, mean, and mode. So you see this person right here, I don't know what they're doing, but they're getting $3.87 and pretty much everyone else is getting either $7 or $8. So $3.87 is clearly the outlier. And then the question that you ask yourself is, well, how do I know what the outlier is really doing to the values? So what you do is you calculate it without the outlier. So you recalculate the mean, median, and mode, ignoring 3.87. And then you look at what you got with 3.87, and you can determine which value or values were significantly impacted. So pause the video and removing 3.87, please figure out what the, what the proper mean, median, and mode are. All right, so here are the values without the outlier, and here's what you say in response. The outlier lowered... the mean by it looks like 50 cents and we oh, shouldn't have that comma there and lowered the median by 37 cents the mode was unchanged. So
So now picture this being larger values and picture the outlier being much more extreme than what it was. I mean, you know, it was kind of a little on the extreme side, but um, outliers can have a huge impact on things. And so you have to look at a data set and recognize if there are any outliers because they could be significantly impacting some of your um, data values. All right, here's something else that we're doing. Now everybody's getting a 40 cent raise. How does the increase affect the mean, median, and mode? So let's make a new chart and let's write down all of our new values. So I've got four dollars. I'll just I'll forget the dollar sign. It's not that important. Four dollars twenty-seven cents. Eight dollars. Nine dollars fifteen cents. Eight dollars sixty-five cents. Seven dollars thirty-nine cents. Then I've got seven dollars sixty-five cents. Eight dollars eighty-five cents. Seven dollars sixty-five cents and $8.39. Please recalculate the mean, median, and the mode now. All right, how did these values change with the increase? Um, and if I look at the other question, it looks like everything went up 40 cents, right? Because the mean used to be 7.35. The median used to be 762, and the mode used to be 725. So actually, everything went up 40 cents. It increased all values by 40 cents. If you have questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.